Hi everybody, I have a 30 minute deceased loved one session. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals and get started here. Okay, so the request is, can you connect with Sahara, my fairy friend, and Luna, my best friend on the other side? Okay, we're just gonna see what comes here. <sighs> Sahara and Luna. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna relax now and get connected. <sighs> I will say, this is quite a magical feeling I'm picking up on here. It's like a tunnel of love kind of thing. And there's a blue ring it's blue and it has stars in it and it's a ring but it's almost like a tunnel of love but there's a sort of like rings thicker rings it looks like a rope but i'm going inside of it and these rings are let's see here like a, a reddish orange color and it gets a little bit lighter until it comes to kind of almost white but not quite white and then it just keeps going 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 on and on and I feel this love energy here. So I'm going to go ahead and relax and keep exploring. And you're welcome to enter into this tunnel of love. <laughs> and I hear that from two voices. And one is sort of on the right, one is on the left. So we could say Sahara and Luna. But they both uh, sort of speak at the same time, and it's absolutely loving. And it's very easy for you to get swept away with the love as well. And it almost feels like your soul's familiar with this tunnel of love. It's very inviting. I'm still trying to see what's on the other side of this. I'm not there yet, but this is what I'm experiencing thus far. Mm. Okay, this is the next thing I'm supposed to show you. This is a whole new scene, same energy here. No ton of, a tunnel of love. But I experience being you, and we're in the desert, and we're laying down, and the sand is flat. I mean, it's a flat sand space. The sand is sort of more of an orangier color, orangey brown. And I'm laying flat with my arms out. And I'm you right now. And I'm supposed to allow myself to feel a little bit more barren and a little bit more human in a way. I feel a little bit more barren. The tunnel of love is, is magical. It's, uh, it's, it's like the best time. It's like going on a date to a carnival for the first time when you're a teenager. I mean, there's like a real fun, exciting um, feeling and love in the air feeling about it. And this feels, and it's okay for it to feel a little bit more barren, a little dried out. I still feel the rays of the sun are love, but I also feel the barrenness. And they're both asking me to go deeper with this experience. So we're just going to go deeper here. So I am you and we're going to just sink into the barren desert. And we're going to sink, sink, sink deep, deep down into the ground here. I don't feel anything uncomfortable about this. I don't feel anything sad, gloomy. I just feel like I'm sinking deeper down. And in a way, there's something I need to see in my life. I need to look at this. And once I've looked at this, I have more room for a tunnel of love time. <laughs> That's kind of what it's like for me right now. And I'm actually working on letting go of that tunnel of love energy so I could really get serious with what is this about. 
But I, I remain laying down like this and I feel as relaxed as though I'm on a vacation at the beach. And I, instead of standing up down here, and we're down, I mean, but there's soil everywhere, so it's not like an open space, but we're an energy body, so we could stand up if we wanted to. But instead of standing up, it's like we go into a deep sleep within ourselves. So within you, you go into a deep sleep. And you go into a very deep sleep. Deep, deep, deep. But I never feel fully disconnected from that energy that love energy never do and it's always f right connected to the heart even as we go deeper even even as we want to experience something a little bit more raw and barren um, even when we go into the deep sleep which is taking us in into even a darker place i still feel connected to the tunnel of love and i don't feel that vulnerability it doesn't sting like a bee it's not the most noticeable thing is the barrenness. It's still the love. The love is still what flourishes louder than anything else, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. We're sinking into the sleep. It's dark, dark in here. I mean, it's dark everywhere. It seems to be getting darker. And Sahara and Luna never leave. I mean, they're always here. And it feels like stepping into a challenge, but I'm not convinced this challenge is as intimidating as it appears. <laughs> We're standing in this big dark place and we don't know what is here, what's lurking here, what are we stepping into here, what have I gotten myself into, I don't know, but I feel the love still, so I don't, I'm not so threatened, it's not threatening me. And it wants to be a little bit more challenging, but I can't really experience a challenge because the love is still here. The love is very loud. Okay, the next thing. <laughs> it's getting worse, all right? But the love is still here. This is a big part of the message. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, the love is still there. It's like you can't, you can't escape it. But your first step into this dark dream is glass. And I can feel the glass on my feet. And it's you. I feel the glass on your feet. And it goes into your feet. It cuts you. And this is painful. This hurts. And you're wondering if you made the right step or made the right choice. And I still feel Sahara and Luna here as bright lights in the dark, even if you can't see them. You actually acclimate to this discomfort in a way that is quite strong. It's, it's a special strength to be able to be able to acclimate to the discomfort. So what this is making me think of is we have life experiences. Sometimes we step into a life experience that we wonder what the heck did we get ourselves into and it can come with a little bit of a pain in the, the walk. As we walk through this difficult experience, it can come with pain. But this step into something challenging, you're quickly overriding the discomfort and the pain of that step and it's the glass is all sort of disappearing or you are altering your frequency so you are lighter than the density of the glass so it doesn't ever cut you. You've already acclimated to it in the first step. I mean, first step, glass goes in. Ouch, I feel it. There's a bit of a lingering delay. And then you start to rise above it. No more glass. Even though I can still tell there's glass here, you can't feel it. And so you take another step. You still haven't gathered your total confidence so you're a little bit worried that it's going to hurt in this step but it doesn't actually hurt as you gain confidence you're able to walk i mean without double checking without making sure you're not going to step on something or walk into a difficult situation you're holding your head up high and sahara and luna are still here 
And they're all about tunnel of love energy. And they're with you through everything. And I can feel that very loudly within your heart. It's like a total connection from your heart. And as we continue to walk forward, there seems to be um, an oval shaped chair. It's sort of backward and then it's sort of turning around and we see somebody sitting in this levitating egg shaped chair. Looks like a bug. Looks like some kind of beetle. And it's a full fledged man that also looks like a beetle. He's smoking a cigar. And your energies are totally different. So I feel you as sort of a, somehow like a fairy tale person. Um, let, let me try to pinpoint what type of fairy tale. So let's just say there's a fairy tale of three brothers. And two of the brothers have a little bit of ego. And then you have one brother who's just the really gentle one, the nice one who does everything right and always gets picked on for it. Um, but, but seeing as you, you're the gentle one, the one that does everything, the one that expresses the most love, you end up in the best of circumstances. So the fairy tale is always encouraging us to be um, true to our self, true to love, and not to fall into those uglier um, personalities. And so I feel that you are of this type. Um having the heart and the bright love that encourages the happy happily ever after um, energy and so that's what emanates from you luna and sahara on both sides still but this man seems more businessy he's a little more analytical he's uh, more of a thinker he's got some bad habits but that doesn't necessarily make him a bad man he just likes to smoke cigars you know that's just something about the way that he expresses his identity and he's kind of bit like a big businessman is kind of what his personality is like and you're very humble as you're standing here he tries to make it i mean to walk to this man there's quite a lot of glass you're gonna have to step on but you only felt it in the first step and then you overcame it right away and managed to get to him without any issues. He's got a desk now in front of him and he's looking at you. <sighs> hmm, I need to look at this scene for a little bit. It's almost like he wants to work out a business deal. And I'm trying to decide if it's a good, if I got the right vibe of it. I mean, yeah, he's businessy, he smokes a cigar. It doesn't mean that he doesn't have your best intentions at heart. Still trying to figure out what his heart is like. Um, obviously, there's a lot of glass along the way. So there's some details here that make it a little bit concerning. Hmm. I just never see you pick up the pen and sign the paper. I just don't ever see you do it. And even when I try to get you to pick up the pen and then sign this, the, the ink never goes onto the page. It just doesn't happen. And for some reason, I don't know who this, cop, this beetle is a reflection of, but you grow quite tall and large. And you over overpower, you overshadow what he is. I mean, he's a big beetle man sitting in this egg-shaped levitating office chair. And this dark place with all this glass on the way to get to him. And somehow you grow quite large, like a giant, like a 30 foot tall giant. And you're really bright. You're shining really bright. And Luna and Sahara are still on right and left sides. Like this is very noticeable. I don't get to see them. I don't get to talk to them. But they're really wanting to show you this. They're really wanting you to know that they are there with you every step of the way. Every step of the way. Even the intimidating steps, they're there. And there should be nothing in your way that intimidates you. And if anything feels a little bit intimidating, allow them to, to help you through it. Allow them to, to fuel you with more love, with more uh, of the tunnel of love energy, which uh, rises you above any of the difficulties. 
And I don't feel the sort of sting of challenge here. It sort of wants to be more challenging than what I feel that it is. And it's Luna and Sahara that help create that experience for you. And I feel this is a really good sign as though anything that you've been challenged with in your life that may have stung along the way, I feel like it's going to get a lot easier, a lot easier and more, more noticeably easier and more noticeably bright and full of love. It, it feels that way to me. And this beetle man, you're so tall, you just walk over him and just walk beyond this whole place. But you don't know exactly what you're looking for just yet. I just see you so enormous. And now that you're this big, I, I see you kind of walking beyond buildings. You walk out of this office building this man was in, um, this beetle man, and you just keep walking. So, and it's all dark everywhere. But it's as if you're not really sure which direction to take. You are the one guiding your own steps. Luna and Sahara are not telling you what to do. But they are with you through every choice that you make. That's clear. Okay. There, this is the, the next thing. There's something important to this shift here. Let me just look at it a little bit longer. All right. Again, it's going somehow between being human and connecting to this surreal spiritual experience. And they don't quite blend. They don't quite uh, work together in unison. Although they are working together in unison, maybe it's your ability to feel that happening. And you want to, it's, it's as if you want to have Tunnel of Love at, at the exact same time you're having human experiences. Because you stop and you're looking for this Tunnel of Love in this dark place. And you want to access it more than you're feeling it right now, which you're feeling it quite loud. But it's, you want more of it. You want more love. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want more love? And it's genuine. I mean, there's a, so much sincerity in this. It's not like an empty void we're trying to fill here at all. I mean, there's a lot of sincerity with uh, the joy that the love brings to you and the longing for more of that joy and the reciprocation of that joy and the receiving of the love. So it's very balanced. All right. Okay. This is the next little whisper. Why would you be longing for this tunnel of love energy to parallel but like cross to come into unison between the spirit realm and the human realm because if we could take sahara and luna and bring them into your life your human world life would that would that add a special sparkle to what it is like to be human to be here as a human being their, their energy is so meaningful to you and they're, and they love you so much. There's no separation between where you go and where they go with you. They, they're always there and they're brightly there. They're like, they're like on either side of you smiling and super bright in their energy and what they share. But you could imagine that this whisper is sort of, um, a, a whisper, a tiny whisper of, of lack put it as a lack because if Luna and Sahara were here by your side in the human world would you need the tunnel of love in the spirit realm just a question just something to think about <laughs> I don't know what you would do if Sahara and Luna were here <laughs> in the human world uh, would you be able to balance those two because the love is super bright i mean who who i don't know if you how do you favor them both at the same time <laughs> it's easy to do easier to do that in the spirit realm but as humans we might get jealous of one or the other or something but there's no jealousy here with uh, their spirits and you okay you want to explore this and you say that you want to pull the rope, the tunnel of love down closer to your dimension. And they take a, a rope and try to pull you closer to their dimension. 
because again, there's a little bit of a, they're not quite aligned here. Your, your dimension and their dimension kind of thing. Obviously it, it's, there's something not aligned, but there's a longing to come into an alignment. I'm, I, I think I might be able to help with this somehow vibrationally align you better. Okay, hold on. I'm still figuring it out here. Okay. This is a compl this is a complicated riddle. One of the ideas that comes to me is the tunnel of love is an infinite line. And if I keep pulling the infinite line into your world, I'll never reach the end. So when do we ever have enough of the the infinite tunnel of love? And if they were to pull your love up into their realm, what would that look like exactly? It seems to come from a darker place. The human world challenges us, you know? It just happens to look that way. It's not that you're dark or anything. And so there's something about this rope that, that there's a, something about this rope that has a riddle component to it. And what if we just got rid of the rope altogether and created the tunnel of love as an orb, a spherical orb of pure love that is both a balance of Sahara and Luna. Oh man, this is getting super lovely to feel. And we take this orb of love and we place it into your heart. So it feels as though that energy is more a part of you than it's ever been before. I feel that that is a gift I meant to give to you from them to you. I'd say it's quite lovely to feel. It's just overwhelmingly beautiful. It's like the most perfect dewdrop, and it's a spherical thing. It's a sphere of perfect, pure liquid. It's, just, it's so lovely to to feel it, taste it, experience it, and there's sort of like vibrational harmonies going on on the inside. It's, it's spectacular. And when this merges with your heart and disperses throughout you, which this is an energy upgrade, this is an attunement to Sahara and Luna, Is this is an energy attunement for you to feel more connected to their frequencies than ever before. And placing that within your heart, I start to see you glow so bright that anything that tries to be a little bit dimmer, a little bit drier, <laughs> um, it, it doesn't look that way anymore because it's so bright. And it overshadows anything that kind of alludes to it not being bright. And when I say bright, it's a well-deserved, well-earned joy. Sometimes we just want life to just be bright because we're just tired of, this, of the, the pathway to get to that light. But this is as though y you have reached a level in your life where where you're reaping the reward. So it's a genuine it's a genuine light that is getting bright from within you and it's it's bringing a total new it's opening up a new pathway of accessibility and it's bright. It's very warm and loving. It's transcending anything that would allude to being a little bit I mean, beetly with the cigar and a lot of glass shards. <laughs> it's much, you're much bigger. You've grown beyond all of that and you're brighter than it all. You start to feel as though, this is interesting, but it's like we have a, the left and the right side as though Luna is a part of your very like left side, for instance, and Sahara is a part of your very right side. I don't know that it necessarily matters which side, but it's like one of them has taken like your right leg and one of them is your left leg. Like that's how connected and close you are to them. And they're joyfully those parts of you as well. So that every step you take in life, you're all stepping together at the same time. And it brings joy to them as it brings joy to you. And it's super in oneness. No tunnel of love that we need to get through in order to find the place. But now it's just a pure drop 
droplet of spherical water. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous in your heart. This is what it's like for me. And it's a part of you. Okay, now that this has happened, it feels like you're receiving the next download of inspiration. And it has nothing to do with where you felt your pathway was guiding you was exactly what you needed to experience to get to this point. But it feels like new stepping stones are going to appear to help you get to the next thing, which is going to only get brighter than than the thing before that. <laughs> but it feels like it's not going to have any tests to it. It's going to actually be exactly as it is, bright. Hmm. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to tell you. I feel like I can go into a whole new scene now. It's a very interesting image or energy that I'm connecting with because I feel like I'm having to communicate it to you one step at a time. And I'm having to sort of investigate and, you know, one step at a time. <laughs> There's something to this more, is more is like one step at a time is the relaying of the message, but it's also part of the meaning too. And so I feel like a bit jolty in the process, but it's, it's really fun as well. Okay. Let's see what the next thing is. A part of your soul is really, I mean, it's like you go to visit them a lot and you, you more of your humanness wants to remember those moments and they're not necessarily translating in, in full completion so that you have the memory in your conscious mind. But it's in your soul. So I see your soul right now and I see both of them spending time with your soul. And you're both joyfully laughing. You're very playful with each other. You're having a lovely time. And it's just pure love and happiness. And it just, it's bliss. I mean, it's just pure bliss that you're expressing with each other. <sighs> And I feel a, a bit of a, is it jealousy from the human uh, conscious level essence that longs to have that bliss, um, the memory, the experience to have that more closer to home? So it kind of comes back to this again. So again, I'm taking yet another orb of memory from the spirit realm. And I'm placing it and this time into your mental body so that way it can develop uh, what could be defined as soul memories um, entering into the conscious level of your mind. Because you do long for more of that bliss to be a part of your, your everyday world. And it could be so natural and so free to love this brightly and that it could just be free flow without any resistance, without any questions, without any, um, any of the humanism getting in the way of the free flowing love, you know, and to have more accessibility to that uh, would be very, would, would brighten your world even more. And it's getting quite bright already, but there's just a twinge of this going on here means a lot to you that I am taking notice of this and then bringing it into your mental body. <sighs> mm. And I'm dispersing the energy from your mind down through your throat, through your heart, through your emotional gut, sexual body root. And making sure that the love within the heart is also just sort of dispersing up and down. So everything is in balance as it is processing all of this information. And it's giving you a whole new awareness of who and what you are, of your soul. And it's giving you a much brighter, I mean, it's again, it's like an energy upgrade experience that allows you to merge more of the spirit realm and the human world together. So you feel more connected to both. This moves a lot of energy around your whole gut region. So that would be emotional gut and sexual body. It's moving energy in there. 
and throat too. Throat too has also got a little bit of circulation going on about this. Hmm. You're cherishing this, this experience. You're cherishing the energy right now. You're, you're holding onto it with love. You're holding it and you're t cherishing it. You're having a very meaningful moment right now. And it's a weeping out of the energy pores, just a old lingering sadness. What, it, what could be maybe perhaps defined as loneliness. This any times that you felt lonely in your life, it's just sort of coming out of the pores of your energy body. It's what it looks like. And it's just black sort of draining out. Because you, you don't have to feel lonely. And you know this. And Luna and Sahara show you that. They help you to feel and experience that. Mm, it's very healing for you. Mm. Mm. I'm just I'm just gonna linger in the energy here for another minute. I mean it's just it's so peaceful. It's very peaceful like uh like being suspended underwater, but I don't need to breathe on, I don't have to worry about, you know, whether or not I could breathe underwater. I just feel like I'm free floating underwater and there's, there's essence of light that sort of uh, dances and I'm just sort of under the water and it's so the peaceful sound of being under the water and the dancing light that moves across and it sort of uh, dances across me, but I feel so meditative and peaceful and it's it's got a lovely experience to it so i'm just going to continue to let this peaceful moment just continue to express itself and it's very warm in your heart very warm it's like it's really soft fur it's warm and soft it's just delightful the energy is delightful, like petting like a really soft chinchilla or something. It's like, this is wonderful. It's so soft. It's delightful like that. <laughs> mm. It's supportive of you. It's, it's helping you. It's every step of the way with you. It's rising you above where you have been before. It's pure love. Mm. This is exactly what I meant to share with you. It's a total attunement to their energies. It's a total energy upgrade so you can feel even more connected. The love is so loud here. And it's them making sure you know they're with you every step of the way and really wanting to show you how bright your life is getting. Every step you take, it gets brighter, and they're with you through it all. And to also bring uh, balance to that tunnel of love was really important to bring that into balance so you could feel the harmony there. And it doesn't feel like kind of a that longing to have more or bring the spirit into the human. That it doesn't feel like that so much as a more of a peaceful. Uh, parallel or it's more more balanced or working together instead of uh, slightly at a distance with each other it feels more closer together working on the same vibration between even the human world or the spirit realm it's all seems to be working in the same vibration <sighs> hmm. this was such a lovely experience very warm very peaceful Thank you so much for sharing this experience with me and with everybody. Thank you. It's been very nice. Ah, still kind of in the warm fuzziness of it all. <laughs> ah. 
All right, for those of you watching, if, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Hope you all have a great day.